What is up guys, Rick Hackes here, going over the Six Dreg Pride 2, a solar variant of the Prison of Elders hand cannon, either sold by Varix or attained through a Judgment's Chance. Now this one, again, is solar damage. You can get any of the Prison of Elders weapons with a random element by killing the level 35 boss Skolas at the end of the level 35 Prison of Elders, or the level 34 boss at the end of the level 34 run of Prison of Elders. Now let's get started with the review. Now let's go over the stats of the Six Drag Pride. As you can see, with rate of fire, impact, range, stability, and reload, even magazine size, nothing really stands out. These are very common statistics for a hand can. Bungie really likes copying and pasting gun statistics and then simply changing the appearance and the perks. And that's pretty much what they've done here. You can get any different version of the Six Drag Pride from pretty much any vendor and it's going to have almost the same, well for rate of fire and impact it's going to have basically the exact same. And you can see when I compare it to something like the Fatebringer, something that's common and you're familiar with, you can see exactly that. Rate of fire and impact are the exact same and there's small changes to range, stability and reload. And that's likely just due to the perks. So again, there's really nothing special about the statistics of the Six Drag Pride. It's not like the impact is crazy or the rate of fire is crazy. It is a very common, everyday hand cannon. Now let's go over the perks of the Six Drag Pride 2. Firstly, we have Solar Damage. This is very useful. I'm going to go over why exactly that is more in the PvE section of this review. The sights are all very similar and it basically comes down to personal preference there. Now then we have Army of One. This is a very useful perk. Unassisted kills of this weapon reduce your grenade and your melee cooldown. Grenade and melee is something very useful to have up more often in PvE and in PvE, so I do like this perk. Hand loaded just straight up increases the range, decently useful there. High caliber rounds stagger targets more when you shoot them, so if you're in PvP and you shoot an enemy, they're simply going to get a little bit more flinch when you actually hit them. This is obviously going to shift the gunfight in your favor, so it's decently useful there. And extended mag makes it go from 9 to 12, as you can see. Again, decently useful. Now, demotion. I've been over in the other videos going over the Prison of Elders weapons why I just do not like these fallen perks. This one has a chance to stun fallen captains, and again, that's great if you're fighting the fallen, but I don't understand why they removed a third perk. Here, let me show you. I'm going to go to the Fatebringers, one of the best guns in the game. See how it has Outlaw in the third perk position, right after the second choice of three. What a useful thing. Precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload. And then we have Oracle Disruptor. This is something specific to the Vault of Glass. This is something very good, but very specific. This is exactly the same thing as the Fallen perks, but look, it's in a completely different perk slot. Not usually is there a perk here, so it's not interfering with the gun's performance. When I go back to the Dreg's Bride, you can see that they took away the third perk. They took away this perk. This should be right where my cruiser is right here, just like the Fatebringer, an additional perk. When you're using this gun in PvP, this perk is entirely useless, and I don't understand why Bungie went from good game design, like the Fatebringer where they have an extra perk, to terrible, stupid, it's obviously going to be worse compared to other guns because I'm missing a perk, dumb game design, like the Six Drag Pride. Bungie, what the fuck? Now how does this gun perform in PvP? Now this weapon does 57 damage for a body shot and 86 damage for a headshot. It's extremely standard for a hand can, and straight up guys, this has absolutely nothing on the three arguably overpowered exotic hand cans in the game. It just doesn't even compete. So if you have one of those, you're much better using that. Now, again, also, if you don't want to use that, if you want to use something legendary, let's say you really like uh, using your Galahorn or whatever, this is not the weapon for you also. Because this weapon's perks are predetermined, it cannot be changed, you can go to a vendor and get a hand can with pretty much the same stats and re-roll it until you get the perfect PvP perks. You can't do that with this, and in fact, because of the specific Fallen perk, this is essentially one perk down, so it's just not worth using in PvP. Now let's move on to PvE, and this is where this gun shines. And it shines simply because it's elemental. If you get this gun, if you get the Dregs Pride 2 in any sort of element, it's going to be vastly superior to the kinetic version. And that's simply because having an elemental gun has no drawbacks whatsoever. 
this is a solar gun. If I'm shooting a void shielded minotaur, I'm going to be doing the same exact damage as if I had this gun in kinetic. But when I use this gun on a solar shielded wizard, it's going to be doing a lot more damage. So it's simply always going to be the exact same or better as a kinetic gun, in which case it has nothing but upside. In PvE, this also isn't a terrible gun. It's pretty powerful, the magazine size is decent, and the unassisted kills re reduce your grenade and melee cooldown are quite useful. Now, this has absolutely nothing on the Fatebringer, but frankly, not many guns do, and obviously you're going to be using this depending on the burn over the Fatebringer. If you get the 6 Drag Pride in Arc, though, the Fatebringer is just going to be superior every single time. Now my version is in solar, but if there was a solar burn and I wanted to use the absolute best weapon, I would probably still stick with the Vision of Confluence. I think that's just a better gun. But there is scenarios where you may want a hand cannon. Like let's say you have armor that has faster reload or carry more ammo for hand cannons. In that case, you would want the Six Drag Pride over maybe the Vision of Confluence. The fact that this gun can spawn in any element is also extremely useful. Let's say you just don't have any void weapons yet you may get the six drag pride in void in which case it's going to be extremely useful in PvE as well, a lot of your kills are just going to be instant one-shot headshots. Now that makes the perk that recharges your grenade and melee pretty potent. Like, you really do recharge your grenade and melee a lot faster when you're using this gun, which is very useful in a variety of different scenarios. Now in summary, the Six Drag Pride 2 is kind of an average hand cannon. There's nothing extremely special about this gun except for the fact that it can spawn in any element. Now of course that makes it very useful in PvE depending on which element you get and depending on your other elemental weapons. But even that, like, there is better choices in PvE. There is simply better guns than this. In PvP, it's a totally respectable weapon, but that's just not good enough considering how bonkers the exotic hand cannons are in the game right now. So this kind of falls into obscurity if you don't get the right element. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. It really helps me out, and as always, have a good day.